try for. <laughs> chickens on a flatbed out of Wiggins. We spent all night on the uphill side of 37 miles of hell called Wolf Creek Pass, which is up on the Great Divide. We were sitting there sucking toothpicks, drinking knee highs and onion soup mix. And I said, Earl, let's mail a card to Mother, send them chickens on down the other side. Now let's give them a ride. Wolf Creek Pass, way up on the Great Divide, trucking on down. Spraying pine cones, rocks, and boulders, and over 400 head of the Rhode Island Reds, and a couple of burnt out roosters on the line. Look out the loads, here we go. Wolf Creek Pass, way up on the Great Divide, trucking on here on the other side. Well, we commenced to truck it, then heads commenced to cluck it. Earl took out a match, scratched his pants, slid up the unused half of a dollar cigar, took a puff, said, Mind is pretty up here. Said Earl, this hill could spill us. You better slow down. You're gonna kill us. It's just one mistake, and it's the pearly gates for the 85 crates of USDA approved cluckers. Wanna hit second? Wolf Creek Pass, way up on the Great Divide, trucking on the other side. Earl grabbed on the shifter and he stabbed her in the fifth gear. Chromium plated, fully illuminated, genuine accessory ship knob got right off in his hand. Did you want to screw that thing back on, Earl? He was trying to thread it on there when the fire fell off his cigar, dropped on down, sort of rolled around, let the cuff of Earl's pants burn a hole in his sock. Sort of set him right on fire. Looked on out of the windshield and started counting phone poles, going by the rate of four to the seventh power. I put two and two together, added 12, and carried five, and come up with 22,000 telephone poles an hour.
curl, his leg was fried. His hand was froze to the wheel like a tongue to a sled in the middle of a blizzard. I said, Earl, I'm not the type to complain, but the time has come for me to explain that if you don't apply some brake real soon, they'd have to pick us up with a stick and a spoon. Earl reared back, stepped down as hard as he could on the brake, the pedal went clear to the floor, and stayed right there in the floor, so it was sort of like stepping on a plum. Well, from there on out, it just wasn't real pretty. It was Hairpin County, a switchback city. One of them looked like a can full of worms, another one looked like malaria germs. Right in the middle of the whole damn show was a real nice tunnel, now wouldn't you know? Signs said clearance to the 12 foot line, but the chickens were stacked to 13 9. Well, we shot that tunnel at 110 like gas through a funnel and eggs through a hen. Took that top row of chickens off, slicker than scum off a Louisiana swamp. We went down and around and around and down till we run out of ground at the edge of town. Bashed it to the side of the feed store. Downtown Pagosa Springs. Yeah. Uh -huh.